Hey guys, Aiden here from Reach Out Reptiles. You would be surprised about some of the things we do and have to deal with here. Not all of it is shown on camera. All right guys, so one thing that people don't really think about too often when they go and work with animals is that they are really gross and nasty. It's not all just about playing with some awesome snakes. Now, I used to clean these cages and I do kind of miss the job. Dylan has this job now, so let's go talk to him and see what he thinks about this. So Dylan, how do you feel about this? How do you like cleaning the snake cages? Oh, well, it's, it's wonderful. It <laughs> smells really good. It, it's, uh... it definitely does smell good in here, doesn't it? Oh man. <laughs> Oh, man. Is this what you expected when you came to start working here? No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Well, do you enjoy it? <laughs> it has its moments. <laughs> well, this is a great moment right here, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. So this is definitely something that you don't usually see on camera. Um, and something that you don't think about when you start working for a snake breeder. But that's not even the worst of it. This is definitely an issue that I have. We all know Crowley. I worked months for this snake, and this was my first one. I fell in love with him right when I saw him, and I knew I had to have him, so. There's a ton of high-end, expensive snakes, snakes that were just now created. They're the only ones in the world. I decided it was a good idea, you know, to get one of those snakes. And I've been working for months for this snake. I'm only about halfway there with this girl. This is Clementine. Comment below if you think that was actually a good idea. <laughs> this is Clementine. Um, she's a snow sun golden child. So she's packed full of jeans. And she's a beautiful snake. This snake really amazes me with her colors because I don't know what to even call her colors half of the time. They like fade and she has some weird green tints going on with her. I don't know, she's amazing and she just keeps changing as she gets older too. So I'm really happy with her and I wouldn't say it's necessarily a bad thing, but I definitely don't make as much money as I could be making if I did not, you know, drop a whole bunch of money on these snakes. But when you fall in love, love has no price. So, of course, we got those expensive ones, and I got, you know, these three. What's up, girl? <laughs> and, you know, these three over here. So, let's go ask Rob and see if he did any better than me at not purchasing as many snakes. Hey, Rob! How long hey. have you been working here? Uh, about six months now. How many snakes have you gotten since you've been working here? Well, thanks Richard Bilbo, because this makes number 15. <laughs> well, Rob did worse than me. He did worse than me, obviously. Oops, daisies. So yeah, snake rich, money poor. We put ourselves out there to the whole world through social media, on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook, and it's a good thing because we're showing you guys the awesome animals that we're making here, networking with the whole community. It's really important for everybody to kind of see what we do and see how we function. Garrett has a lot of information that a lot of people need to know. And I'm really glad that he gets to share it with such a large audience. I know I get messages all the time saying how much people appreciate, especially the free tip Fridays and just the little things that help make their lives a little easier as reptile keepers. Most of the people that we interact with are awesome, super nice, friendly, although there are some that are pretty entertaining and kind of funny, and there's some who are just outright rude and stressful to deal with. Somebody uh, messaged me and asked me for every single photo of every single snake that we have. <laughs> One, we just don't. <laughs> we take photos as we need them, so we don't have that option. I have a lot of people that I don't think follow us very closely, so I'll get messages okay. about wanting ball pythons or corn snakes or frogs or lizards. You're working with people from all different walks of life, so you're going to come across a whole bunch of different personalities. 
when doing this and interacting with people. And that's just part of the job. Yeah, I do really enjoy selling for Reach Out Reptiles, though. It, it's, it's a lot of fun being able to talk to everybody. I don't know, guys. I never expected any of this when I first started working here at Reach Out Reptiles. If you guys want to see how I got this job here at Reach Out Reptiles, be sure to check out this video right here. Maybe you will be able to find a job with a snake breeder.